She's had enough. Let's get this. Picking up the egg. You guys are probably like, what? Yes, I'm still vegan. And yes, I was getting an egg. Here she is. From a friend who has very happy chickens that are actually her pet. So I feel a lot better about this. But if you are confused about what the heck is going on here, let me explain real quickly. Okay, first of all, I don't wanna be a poster child and be like, oh, woe was me, woe was me, because that's not, that's not my style, that's never been my style, real life, even camera life. When something is going wrong, I try to fix it. That's just what it is. And last year was really bad. And I know, I'm gonna acknowledge that there's a lot more people who have it worse problems than me and, or like, I don't know. All I know is collectively, the world has been having all the same psychic problems, not psychic problems, like real life problems. But I feel like, at least for me, um, like I got an evil eye. Maybe there's an evil, maybe the world has an evil eye on them from aliens. Shh, don't tell anyone. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But that's how it feels like. Like, I mean, I know so many people that have, like had the same stuff happen to them. Like literally, like, you know, I told you guys Tito passed away. I know probably five other people that their pets passed away in December. Literally, like, so I know it's not, you know, it's all about me or anything, but I'm here to fix whatever psychically, karmically, aura, -y, I don't know. I want to fix it because I'm tired of this because I've been lost for so long. Not stuck, but lost. There is a difference. This is my opinion on this. So either you are stuck, which is probably not the greatest position to be in because you can't, it's harder to get out. But if you're lost, you are wandering around and then you might hit a dead end or many, or, you know, too many. But at least when you turn around, there's five other pathways. So I can be lost, but I'm gonna find my way out. And so this is one of them. One of the ways, I should say, that I am trying to find my way out. I was pushed into doing something to try to figure out my karmic or my what the heck's going on. If it's an evil eye, what you know, whatever, was actually pushed on me. So here's another thing. I hate hearing people's dreams and I hate telling people my dreams. But I have to tell you this because this is so weird. It's still stuck in my head is um, on Sunday. And this is going to be real quick. And you don't need to know all the details. But on Sunday night, I had a dream. I was in like this room and I was like laying on this table. It was kind of like a 60s clear plastic table. Think Barbarella, but it's like for the whole body. And um, someone was saging me. And I'll put a picture here it sh because she looked exactly like Ann, or Ann, Ann Wilson. And if you don't know who Ann Wilson is, I don't know if we can be friends. Well, I'll tell you if you're like, she sounds familiar. She's the lead singer of Heart, okay? So she was there, but she didn't have a face. It was like her hair. And anytime I would look at her, it was always the back of her head, right? And she was saging me with sage and lavender. And there was another thing, and I don't remember what the other thing is. And I think it was bay leaves, but I'm not too sure. And she was saging me, and, and I kind of had a freak out because I was like, oh, we're not supposed to use sage anymore. We're not supposed to, because of this whole thing. Anyway, so that was the dream. So it stuck with me. So I, I, I text my, my friend, she's psychic. And uh, she reads tarot on that. And she was like, wow, you know, maybe you should do an egg cleanse and see if they, if, uh, you know, 
if your aura, if she healed your aura, like, because this was nothing about this dream I even thought about or was even looking into or like, it wasn't like something like, you know how you hear heart and then, then Ann Wilson's in my dream saging me with no face, you know, that's, I wasn't listening to heart. I should though. That's one of my favorite bands. I love heart. Anyway, that's how the whole egg thing happened. That's the backstory on that. And I actually was going to have her read it for me, but I am just, I have no time right now. So I'm like, this is the time I have. I had the egg under my bed with some salt. I actually slept so well last night. It was insane. Like before I went to bed, wasn't a very fun time. I went to bed, it was, I slept like a baby. It was fabulous. Um, another weird thing is, maybe because I kept thinking about the saging thing, I had a dream two days later, and this is real quick, this, is not pertain this kind of pertains to it, but Ann Wilson again, was fixing Monkey Bee. And it was very weird because Monkey Bee has not been acting well for the last couple days. Oh, now she is, she has her new pot, we, you know, but I think it was the old, the other pot. I don't, I don't, I don't know. CBD, I keep saying pot, it's CBD. Um, so, so I don't know. And it was like, she was fixing Monkey Bee. But monkey bee turn, was like the size of a horse. So I don't know. But anyway, monkey bee is just running around thinking she's all that. Well, it is warmer too. But yeah, it's fabulous that she feels so well. And especially the next morning is when monkey bee started like getting up faster. Because that's why we get our CBDs. To, okay, it's not all about monkey bee right now. Um, so yeah, so this started this whole egg thing and um i'll put a little video of me here um i kind of wanted to crack it on camera i was gonna um like i said have my friend help me read the egg what i've been reading and actually wait hold please <laughs> what i've been reading about egg reading to see if your aura has been cleansed is um that is kind of like tea leaves, right? But I did find a site and I have it on my Kindle by Pop Sugar. So I just follow the instructions. And um, this is a video of me doing, I didn't show you me washing the egg. So this egg is freshly laid yesterday. And like I said, I had it under my bed with salt. Um, freshly laid yesterday and she didn't clean it because I was like I think I have to have it for a week but I feel so good about opening it today that I I feel like I need to open and see what's going on I held it in my hand I said a little prayer I said thank you egg for helping me get unlost basically um, and then I washed it, not in Florida water, but in salt water. And then I rubbed it, as you see. So now we're at the stage of cracking the egg. And um, this is something else before we crack the egg, because I am kind of nervous. I got, I gotta show you this, because I already feel like the egg is working. The blocks of people just, not being nice, like even in real life, <laughs> not being nice, not just internet. Like my friend today was wearing this necklace and she's had it since she was 17 years old and it does open up. And I was like, oh, that's pretty. And it has all these different gems and stuff in it. And she thought, I knew you would like it here. And she gave it to me with, with all the crystals in it. And I'm just like, Oh my God. So then I had to go to Trader Joe's and all these people were acting super nice to me. Like the lady behind me, I was like, oh, I don't have eight cents. Here's a quarter. She said, I have eight cents. Let me, like people were talking to me and like, I don't, maybe the weather's nice, but it's, 
It's not, it's actually gloomy and it's starting to get colder. So I don't even know. So I don't know if it's a combination of the egg and this, I don't know. We should just get right into it. Um, I'm gonna crack it and we're gonna show it. And I'm gonna kind of read what I think the results are. And um, then I have to dispose of the egg in the kitchen sink and then never use this glass again. That's what this thing says, because now it's a ritual. So anyway, here's a whole bunch of things on there. It's probably too bright for you guys. That um, says like what it's all the different things. So let's get to this, shall we? I mean, okay, let me pull you back and then we're gonna crack the egg. Okay, so I have you at a weird angle. I don't understand, here, there you go. So now we're gonna see the egg. It said cold water three quarters of a way up. So that's basically that. Look how nice that egg is. Oh God, I'm so nervous. I don't want it to be anything bad. God, I haven't cracked an egg in forever. Ew. Okay. Okay. So that's what it looks like. Um, oh, this is gonna be hard, huh? Okay, so let me go wash my hands because I do have a little bit of egg whites on it. I do see some bubbles and I think bubbles are a good thing. Hold on. Okay, let's see what it says. Oh, it has like bubbles with some spikes on it. Okay, oh, let's see. Like crowns, it's like crowns or something, I don't know. Okay, let's see what it is. Okay. There's no cloudiness over the yolk. I don't see that. Okay. But I do see like peak spikes. Oh my God. Okay, so spikes. These will, will spike up directly from the yolk. And I do see some directly coming up from the yolk. Um, they can be short or tall and reach halfway, reach halfway up, okay? Remember, these are not connected directly to the surface, okay? So I don't have any connected to the surface, but I do have um, a bubble up there, okay? Remember, these will not connect directly to the surface of the water as those are strings. They represent gossip and blockages that have been removed. <laughs> oh my God, you guys. Oh, <laughs> yay. Um, let's see. Strings. Bubbles, they're generally a good sign. M many small bubbles mean Olympia was, Olympia, that's how, it, it's L-I-M-P-I-A, um, was successful and that the spirit assistance from positive entities. Bigger bubbles represent gossip and individuals keep an eye on you. Not necessarily doing an evil eye, but they are invested in in you for whatever reason. Strings, is there strings? Um, this is so fun, you guys. Is that a string or is that just a bubble? So people are keeping an eye on me because some of those bubbles are bigger. This is so crazy. I'm gonna get a little flashlight, hold on. Okay, I took some 
closer pictures for you. Ooh, my egg yolk did break. I wonder what that, if that means anything, because it's kind of deflating. But hey, oh, this is so interesting because, so sorry, I had to look closer because I, I wanted to look at the yolk and see if I could find like people or whatever, but my yolk did kind of break. And it's funny that it's, it turned the water a little yellow when it, when it did that. But yeah, I definitely have little bubbles. I don't have a big bubble anymore. I think that was just the whole, throwing the egg in there. Sorry. I'm just so fascinated by this. Oh my goodness. But um, yeah, I definitely have spikes and I definitely have little bubbles. And so I, I am super happy with that because I actually feel like, um, do I have any strings? I don't have any strings. Okay. I thought I did, but I don't. So bubbles, definitely bubbles. These are generally good sign, many small bubbles, which I have. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, mean that the egg was successful and you had spiritual assistance from positive entities. So that's what my dream was about. I think my spirit guide was like, she's had enough. Let's get this off of her. Bigger bubbles mean represent gossip and individuals keep an eye on you. I don't think they're that big. I would I thought they would be bigger, but they're not. There's a, light, a lot of small bubbles, so. But the spikes kind of are a little concerning because there's like one, two, two spikes that are coming off of the, the yolk. They represent gossip and blockages that need to be removed. But there's bubbles on top of them. So I don't know if that's like, counteracting those things that still need to be cleansed. Maybe I should do another full uh, full moon cleanse or something. I need to do another, I'm gonna do another cleanse. I think I, I'm gonna not necessarily do the egg anymore, but start doing cleanses on me, my house, Christopher. <laughs> he needs the biggest cleanse. <laughs> but yeah, I think, that's just what has to be done until this is all figured out. So anyway, I hope this helped you and maybe gave you ideas. I'm definitely jumping right out of the, the broom closet, some would say. But yeah, thanks for doing this with me. Um, I'll probably won't do this again because vegan, you know. There's other ways you could do this, but that was so interesting this whole week with the spirit guide cleansing me now the egg thing it's that's wild man that's so wild so anyway so we're gonna have to work on getting cleansed by someone okay it's been a couple days i am gonna do the conclusion because of um when i got off the phone with you guys i like did more deep diving before I got rid of my egg, you know? And um, so there was a few things on there that I totally missed and I messed up. For one, the water was really cold. And for two, I did crack the egg yolk. And I think I did that with my fingers because I haven't really cracked it. I guess I cracked an egg um, when Tita was sick like four or five months ago. But really, I don't crack eggs because, you know, I don't eat eggs. But, um, so from what I have been reading, like there's no mistakes, right? So it said that I did have an evil eye on me, which is kind of scary. And, and I feel like, yeah, like that's, <laughs> that makes sense. Um, the egg yolk did have a, um, like a, like a protection around it. And, uh, like it, kind of a, a light layer and that could have been from it being cold though. So, um, what that means is that, that I was being protected. And then those, those, uh, those spikes with the, the balls on them was that 
all this has been cleared. Now, when I dumped out the egg, it stuck to the bottom of the glass. And remember earlier in this video, I said it's better to be um, lost than stuck. And so I guess, you know, I live in my own little fantasy world. By the way, I'm at Target filming this. I'm not bringing you guys in. Don't worry. Um, but I guess um, that is true. I've been stuck for so long. So basically from what I've gotten out of that reading is that, yes, like there's bad energy on me. Yes, it's being protected. It's getting cleared. I still need some work and that I have been stuck. So that's what I got from the egg read. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was so much fun. I don't know if I would do it again because you know, I'm vegan and I don't want um, to do, you know, anything with eggs, but I did give those chickens, my friend's chickens, a nice little treat. Gave her some money to go buy him something, <laughs> you know? So I felt like karmically that felt better. And I'm still feeling really good. I am wearing the amulet. Um, I haven't worn this the last couple of days. And then I put it on today. And it's like I can automatically feel all this energy from it. It's so crazy. So anyway, yeah, that was the conclusion of the egg. <laughs> Reading an egg. I hope you like this and, you know, maybe you'll dig more into it. And if you saw something that I didn't see... Because I, I never saw any faces or um, any dark spots on it. The one spot I was like, is that a dark spot? What is that? It wasn't. It was where the egg yolk kind of leaked out. Not busted open, but, you know, it leaked out and then got stuck to the bottom of the glass. So that's it. And yes, look, I got my hair cut and colored. And oh, it's so short, but I love it. I love it. So... Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was a little different and, um, you know, I think that's why you guys like me because I'm a, a little kooky. There it is. I'm a little bit kooky. So anyway, I'm very excited for this next week's videos. We're going to go do some things, not shopping. And so, yeah, please like, subscribe, and share. And until next time, bye. Mwah.